to know how to make the basic building block of a balloon garland with stunning balloon clusters like these keep watching guys welcome back to fly high balloons creations if you're new here we are glad to have you my name is deborah and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like and find the content helpful today i'm going to show you how to create stunning balloon clusters that will elevate any celebration. Whether it's a birthday, baby shower, or any special occasion, balloon clusters add a touch of magic to the atmosphere. So let's dive into this step-by-step -step guide on how to create these eye-catching decorations. Materials you would need are a balloon pump. I highly recommend using an electrical pump. It will save you a lot of time and energy. And if you are not comfortable with using both nozzles, it is perfectly okay. You can use as many balloons as you are going to want to use in your garland. You can select a color palette that matches the theme of your event. I will be color blocking and all it is just using one solid color in each of your clusters. Colors I will be using are Fashion Eucalyptus, Fashion Mustard, and brunt orange. I first will begin by inflating four 18 inch balloons and four 11 inch balloons. See how this balloon has a coney shape? I will press down on it and slowly release the air to give it a nice round shape, I will tie it off and I will continue this process with all the other balloons. Here I am tying the 11 inch balloon to the 18 inch balloon, making a pair slash duplet. I will make another duplet and bring both duplets together, taking one balloon from each duplet and twisting them together, making a quad of four balloons. I am repeating the process, making a quad of four balloons. I am taking the set of quads, taking one balloon from each quad, twisting them together, making a cluster of eight balloons.
here's the large clusters guys i use these large clusters to build the actual base of my balloon garland let's create our medium cluster of six balloons i first will begin by inflating the 18 inch and 11 inch balloon pressing down on them and slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape tying the two balloons together making a duplet I will then repeat the process, making another duplet, taking both duplets, bringing them together, taking one balloon from each duplet and twisting them together, creating a quad of four balloons. I will then inflate two 11 inch balloons and make a duplet and twist them into the quad of four balloons, creating a cluster of six balloons. You can also use these clusters to build the actual base of your balloon garland and also use them to fill out the bottom of your balloon garland to make it much bigger and fuller. And there we have it guys, our medium clusters of six balloons. Now let's create our small clusters of eight 11 inch balloons. I first will begin inflating two balloons in different sizes, pressing down on them and slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape. Tying them both together, making a duplet, repeating the process, making another duplet, bringing them both together taking one balloon from each duplet twisting them together creating a quad of four balloons i will repeat the process making another quad of four balloons bringing the set of quads together taking one balloon from each quad twisting them together making a cluster of eight 11 inch balloons you can also build the actual base of your balloon garland with these clusters and also use the quads of four balloons to add to the actual base of your garland to make it fuller. And there we have it, our small clusters of eight 11 inch balloons. And last but not least, our mini quad slash clusters of four five inch balloons. I will first begin by inflating two balloons, pressing and slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape, tying both balloons together, making a duplet and repeating the process, bringing the duplets together twisting one balloon from each duplet, making a quad of four balloons. You can use these mini quad slash clusters as fillers 
and to bring your balloon garland to life. And there you have it, a simple yet stunning DIY balloon cluster tutorial. We hope you found this guide helpful for your next party or event. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY ideas, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a party planning tip. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or feedback, please let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye.